Hey, what's going on guys? So I have a Google Nexus 6P here and I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror it onto your big screen, your HDTV, a non-smart HDTV, okay? Now, first of all, just take note that the Nexus 6P, it doesn't support mirror cast. However, we are able to screen mirror this if we use a device called Chromecast, okay? It doesn't matter if we have the Chromecast first generation or the Chromecast second generation. They both work exactly the same way. The only thing is Chromecast second generation is a little bit faster and it's only five or $10 more. So I would personally recommend getting the second generation Chromecast. Even though for this example here, I'm using the Chromecast first generation because my second generation is downstairs. So here's my Nexus 6P here and everything that's gonna be on my phone is gonna be mirrored onto my, my TV. If I go into a browser here, I can turn it into landscape. And I can scroll down. I can go into my photos. I can look at my locally stored uh, photos, videos, even if you have like presentations and stuff like that. So we can go ahead and zoom in, zoom out. And this TV here, this is an old TV. This is a Sony Bravia. I bought this one back in like 2010. I think it came out in 2009. And there's a photo there. Of course, I can play videos. Let me play a video here, I'll give you an example. Let me turn this in landscape mode. Let me raise the volume. Okay, you can see when I play, when the, the volume actually comes out of the TV, it doesn't come out of the phone. Okay, and of course you can watch uh, YouTube on here, Netflix, you can play um, games. Let me go ahead and pop this on here. Let me just go ahead and play this game really quickly for you. Uh, the only thing is, you know, if you're using Chromecast, you need a Wi-Fi network. If you have no home Wi-Fi network, you cannot connect. You cannot screen mirror, period, okay? So let me just go ahead and play this game. The only thing with games is I don't recommend, if something is too graphic intensive, then you're going, you are going to have, like, lag. Let me go ahead and just play this game really fast. Let me increase the volume. You can hear the volume, right? So let me just decrease here. Let me, let me just play here. And you can kind of see, even when I play this game, there is a little tiny bit of lag you can kind of see here. So if it's something that's too graphic intensive and you know, you're definitely going to see some sort of lag. Okay. Anyways, you get the message there. So let me just show you how you basically screen mirror. Okay. So what you need to do uh, after you have one of these two devices, basically you just hook it, the HDMI part on the back of your HDMI port on your TV. And then it also comes with a USB cable, which you need to give it power. You plug the USB uh, into the empty port, USB port on your TV. If you don't have a USB port on your TV, then you can just plug it into the wall outlet. And then of course, what else you need to do is you need to download the Google Home app. It basically looks like this. Let me just go into the Play Store and I'll show you. So it's right here, it's Google Home. You need to install that. And then once you do, like let me go ahead and take it off screen mirroring first. And to take it off screen mirror, you can just basically swipe down and we can disconnect right here. Let me focus in on it so you can see that. Disconnect. Okay, so we're not connected right now. And I'm on the correct HDMI port right now for my Chromecast. This is basically the, uh, the home screen here. So let's go ahead and screen mirror it. How you do that is you open up your Google Home app. And then once you're here, what you do is tap on the three lines, top left-hand corner. And then you go down here where it says cast screen slash audio. Tap on that and then tap on your Chromecast right here. Give it a second here and bam, you are in business. Even if I open up the camera app here, you can see. Well, there you go. If you guys have any questions, uh, just comment below and I'll try to reply to you, back to you as fast as possible. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And of course, if you subscribe and stuff like that, that'd be awesome. Thanks. Bye.